might need to make a stop today. That's what we'll bring in those. I think I got enough. I don't know if you guys already know this, but tomorrow we're leaving, John and myself, we're leaving on a on a trip that takes us seven to 10,000 miles away from America, which it'll be fun. It's gonna be a fishing trip. I don't know if he's even said it or not. If you guys don't know, leave a comment below, guess where we're going. I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna leave it a secret, but the secret could be out there. I don't really honestly know. We have a whole bunch of stuff we gotta get done today. The, the amount of time I gotta do it in is literally, I got about six hours. I'm really hoping the bank is open. I just realized my wife told me that it is considered a holiday today uh which sucks horribly if they're closed because we might be shit out of luck if we can't get money well we're gonna drop the boat off as well because it needs it's uh it's yearly maintenance it definitely needs yearly maintenance so hopefully that place is open too i don't know i don't know why these people play take days off there's no need to take days off all these cars are still at their house this isn't a good sign oh all i need to lose So the place that we're going, I'll throw this out there. I'm gonna be able to wear shorts, but it's not gonna to be too hot or too cold. It's gonna be like just right. I'm kind of interested to see what you guys think it's gonna be. Two of these or not. That is just in case the food isn't too pleasant. I have at least something to munch on for a couple weeks. It's not gonna last me very long. So I did grab the fan mail. I did grab it. Uh, there wasn't like a ton because apparently we had so much mail that they couldn't fit it inside the box. I have a couple extra like giant boxes full of mail that I wasn't able to grab because they're not open. So I'm gonna send Sarah up there tomorrow to pick up all the mail that we wasn't able to be picked up today. And I'll just unbox it when we get back from this trip. But I will show you the fan mail that I, did, I was able to grab. So the reason why I got like hand sanitizer and like just random food bars and, and some extra soap, just that hopefully, I would assume they're gonna have a shower where we're going, but like hand sanitizer and and uh, I don't know, when I was in Afghanistan, you know, it was like when I go to these other countries, you just don't know how, how clean things are going to be so having a good good chunk of hand sanitizer i don't know it just makes me feel a little bit more comfortable especially when i'm going to go eat food that's another thing the food that we're going to be eating there i have no clue what it's really going to be like because i've actually i don't think i've ever had food like this and i'm not really the most picky eater but john is a very very picky eater he'll even tell you guys he's probably one of the most picky eaters i've ever seen in my life he doesn't eat green food if it's green don't even put it on his plate so um, it's gonna be kind of interesting to see if he eats anything that the locals actually feed him down there. Oh, jeez. Oh. All right, back at the house. Got some of this mail to undo. You gotta eat first. Got to eat leftovers, you know what I mean? Rubbing on Nadine, we're gonna get right into this, uh, tearing open some of this mail that we got. Done. First one we're gonna open up is from Lester Packard. Lester Packard. You know, it'll be kind of interesting if I get some stuff. I could actually take on this trip. What is this? What? That's all you sent me? My favorite thing in the world? So if you guys don't know, these cookies right here, these double chocolate ones, you must watch my stuff a lot, Lester. That's awesome, dude, thank you. These things are freaking phenomenal. So good. And you find me the buckshot rattles? Dude, okay, so DD must have been watching me for a while because these, I couldn't find these anywhere. I found like the really crappy black ones. Dude, good shit. Thank you so much, Lester. It says open on camera, so we're gonna do that from far. Far La Fortaine. Don't know where that's at. There we go. Look at this. Bates, gonna be taken with me. You guys are awesome. And he likes my paintball videos. Thanks for the late Christmas gift. Thanks, Alex Farr. You are awesome. These are coming with me for sure with the Rattlers. Whoa! That could have been really bad. Zachary? Well, my watch is telling me I need to take a minute and breathe. All right. Well, 
he sent this for me to sign because that's what he wanted me to do. I thought he was giving this to me. I got like super excited because it's really badass. But I will sign it, send it off in the mail to you, dude. And John says, what is going on, guys? It's not what he really says, but he said something else. These watches are freaking insane. So I know that's another thing that I have to do today. I have to get like, because this is 20 pound. I got some 60 pound braid. John texted me he doesn't have any braid, so I got to bring a whole bunch of braid in line with us. Because I don't think where we're going, we're going to be able to have like, I don't think like a lot of tackles really going to be like uh, really easy to get over there. So I think bringing everything, I'm literally going to have a duffel bag that I'm bringing with me that's like just a big thing just full of baits, everything. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jace. Got your uh, got your baits, your bullet weights. Good to go. Those are those are those are good. They do work very well, dude. Those baits you sent me. Good choice. I think you know whose letter this is. It's cool. Oh, it's upside down. Thanks for watching, Damon. Oh, look at this, Sergeant United States Marine Corps active. I like that. Joshua, can't spell your or say your last name. Let's see if I can get this right. Joshua Rita. Thanks for the Christmas card, dude. I know, I know it's a little late, but I still appreciate the nice gesture of sending me the awesome card. It's not a little late on your part, it's a little late on my part, because I've been gone. Thank you. All right, so Benji sent me this, this picture, his letter. His exact thing says, don't take up all the space when signing. I want Dope Beats Big Nose Asian Ninja to sign it. So says, look on back, and it's got what? Sid with an icon. I can't fish without my life vest and my mom's permission. AP. And then apparently I've got, it says faithful of pubes and uh, sunscreen is needed. Squirrel hunting with a 308. Well, son of a gun. I'll send it and send it back for faithful of pubes. So if you guys want to send me mail, look in the description below. There will be an address you can send. I'm really sorry, like I said, to all the guys that aren't going to get on. I've got three more to open up. But if you guys want me to sign something, like a letter or anything of that nature, Please put a return label like this guy did and the other guys that do, or guys and gals that do, and I will gladly sign it, throw it in the envelope, just provide me the envelope and uh, just do this for me. It makes life easy. I'll sign it, throw it in the mail, good to go. Let's see what we got going on here. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Look, see, there's one right here. See, they provided it. Cool. Thanks, Tucker. Make life easy for me. Can you give me a shout out? Sure. Fishing Brothers Stream. Nope. Excuse me. Fishing Brothers Team. I'm an idiot. I am sorry I butchered that. Tucker Soot. Soot. Stut. Stoot. Sorry I just butchered your name as well. I'm going to sign this and put it back in the envelope. Look how easy that was. Cool. Thanks for watching the channel as well. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Last one. Nothing in there. Let's see what we got going on here. Rob. Matt. Matt as in Demolition Ranch? I think this is, okay. I think it's Demolition Ranch Matt. I'll have to send him a text if that is. Let's take a look. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'll send it to Matt, don't worry. All right, these aren't, these aren't American flags, they're actually Texas flags. And of course I'm gonna hang it up. I'm gonna actually put it up. I've got an American flag on that side, the American flag on that side. I've got a lot of American flags. I'm all about American flags. Oh my God, that one's sick. What? Look at that. Let's get this thing up. Okay, well, that was easy. Look at that. There you go. Fix my backdrop a little bit. Thank you so much. Well, now that we got, that was all the, the stuff that we got. Like I said, I, I, once again, I know I've said this like three times, but I'm sorry to everybody that sent stuff and I haven't been able to pick it up. I will get it when I come back from this trip, but now we gotta get a rod set up, a real setup. I'm actually hoping to be able to go do an underwater video outside for you guys. It will be up tomorrow if I'm able to do it. Um, it's gonna be about wintertime baits, what they look like underwater. I'll do stuff like using square wheels, shaky heads, techniques, the rods I'm using, the line I have to use for them. All right, let's get packed. Let's 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 get moving. Let's go get this thing done. I don't know why I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Okay, so this stuff, these are rods, and this tackle. I don't have a clue, in all honesty. I don't really know what the structure's like there. I don't know if I need to be using only braid or fluoro or what kind of rod I need, if I need a heavy rod or a light action rod. I really don't know. 
So to make it even worse, I gotta bring a ton of tackle to kind of counter every single thing that could possibly happen. But we are staying in an area that is, uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm kind of like, I don't really know if I'll be able to make videos for a couple weeks because we don't know if we're gonna have internet. We're gonna be staying in a place that, that has a bed, of course, but we don't know if they have internet or cell phone service or anything like that. So we might go off the grid for two weeks and just be stocked up on videos uh, when we come back. So it's kind of, we're playing it by ear right now. And 100% being honest with you guys, we're playing at 110% by ear. So let's get some of these rods set up. Okay, update. Sarah got me this. I still got a pair of her shorts in there for some reason. But now that means I don't have to break this down. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I have thought of this myself. 100% myself. I actually will take credit for this. And target. With this right here. This is like one of the coolest ways to set up your terminal tackle. This is so freaking awesome. So, so I thought of this back when I was like really getting heavily into tournament fishing. I was like, God, I got to bring my tackle from the boat to the hotel room every single day. There's got to be a, a better solution to carrying all this giant plastic boxes around. So I came up with this. This is literally something from Target. I mean, look at this. Look how easy this is. Oh, look, I need to go flipping. Okay, cool. I'll grab this. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we got we actually got the underwater footage shot and done. Uh, that that video is going to be uploaded hopefully tomorrow. I'm pretty positive I can get it done. I don't know. We use a different little little setup. I shot from the chest this time. I know some I know some of you guys maybe not even even seen an underwater video, but but look what we got going on here. I got everything inside of this one bag. Just imagine if you had to go somewhere and you had to bring all of your tackle with you. You had to bring an entire suitcase. That's what I feel like now. It's just, it's just kind of crazy that I had to bring this much stuff to go fishing in another country. I'm just excited. You guys just, ah. But Sarah did ask me. I got to knock something out for her. She wants me to take all the lights off the house so we don't look like, uh, look like weirdos with Christmas lights in our house at the end of January because that's pretty much when I'll be back. So I got to knock this out. So now, now that we got all the Christmas stuff done, now we got to figure out which rods we're going to bring. For sure. Gonna probably need braid. Here we go, this would be a good one. My main concern right now is how we're gonna fly these rods 10,000 miles or 8,000 miles, however far it is, without them breaking. Because if they break, we'll have no rods. And that would ruin two weeks of a trip. Because there's, I'm telling you right now, there is no rods in the air. There's no fishing tackle, no rods, no reels, no line, no nothing. Where we're going. Hmm. Oh yeah, I added a whole bunch of reels. I took the took the spinning reel apart because I don't want it to break. Got the fly. I think I'm gonna bring the fly stuff. I think John's also bringing two of his fly rods. So for about a week now, no, two weeks. For about two weeks, I've been thinking to myself, you know, I don't know where I put these rods. Well, I completely forgot that I was gonna go on a trip, so I packed them up. I sometimes I do really dumb things. And this is one of them. How many rods are in here? I don't even remember. I brought. I was gonna bring these rods on my Florida trip. So what was that? Two or three weeks ago? Well, two more rods. There we go. Okay. Well, we gotta make a run. We're gonna go to a Gander Mountain that's down the road. <sighs> and get some Mexican food to go. Man, we still got a busy, busy night ahead of us. So we got two options. We got Gander Mountain, and. Academy, and I think my best bet could be Gander, but Gander's really, really bad here in this area for fishing stuff, like really bad. Whew. They got a lot of guns, though. All right. That'll work, right? What's, What's up? going What's on, up? man? All right, dude. All See right, you guys see later. You Thanks here, for man. watching. Holy crap, they had what we needed. That was quick. Very expensive though. I think it was worth the money, but it's like a hundred and, hold on a sec, 140? Jeez, this thing was a hundred dollars. Man. And I want to say what's up to the guys that I just met inside of Gander Mountain. Hope you guys do really well fishing. If you guys ever see me in public, you can't see me right now, I'm sure, but if you ever see me in public, don't be afraid. Just come up and say what's up. I love meeting you guys. You guys are the ones that, the only reason why I'm able to do this is because of you guys that watch this channel. So anyway, 
So what's up guys? Hope you guys do well fishing and that's pretty much it. Now let's get back home. I gotta pick up Mexican food first though. Alright, let's see if this fits. It should. I mean when you spend freaking a hundred dollars on a piece of plastic, it should fit, right? Oh camera, no! Damn it. Let's try this again. Let's put you right good. Son of a bitch! No! Well, there goes a hundred dollars. It's like an inch short. It's an inch short, and I just freaking broke it. Like, all right, don't buy flambu products, I guess. What the hell? Who who makes a rod tube that can't even fit rods? In? Well, this thing broke. I mean. I guess it was my fault. I don't know. Like, what the hell? The clip clamp completely just busted. Out. We got an old black one. Like an old one. I mean, that one's from like when I was 16 or 15. Like right when I, my dad died, I bought that and my aunt bought it for me. I use that one, I guess. <clears throat> Nothing like wasting 100 bucks. So, <sighs> anyway, I'm going to end it here, guys. But still got to go pack all my clothes. I haven't packed any clothes yet. So, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Well, Hopefully. I never, I never, I never, I never, I, I thought about it. I